when you're doing partner massage, one of the things that you want to remember is that uh, neither of you are a certified massage therapist. So you don't have to worry about uh, every skill being perfect, everything flowing smoothly. It's going to be a little bit awkward at first, even for massage therapists. It's awkward for us when we were first done with massage school, even after hours and hours of training. It was awkward for us to try to figure out the flow and the techniques and making sure that we spent enough time in each area. So the whole goal of this video series for you is for us to just give you some tools to use at home to take care of your partners and then hopefully the, to return the favor taking care of your muscles as well. And uh, again, just have fun with it. This is designed to help you give each other a little bit of self-care. Um, another idea of something that you can do to spend some quality time during this quarantine with each other. And um, yeah, just have fun. So another area that's gonna really bother people is their lower back. Um, one of the ways you can access this is by just doing long gliding strokes down either side of the spine, scooping, um, pressing with your fingers on the edge of the hips here, and then circling back around. One of the things that you wanna make sure that you do is that you go a little bit beyond where the pain is. So for example, if you're working on the lower back, you don't wanna just work from here down because there's so many muscles that all connect in. So if you just work from here down and you don't get any of this area in here, um, you're not gonna have as good of results. So make sure when you're working the low back, you connect into like the mid back as well. So doing some motions this way, scooping if you're standing on the opposite side of their body can feel really good. It's also a little bit easier on your body as the person giving the massage. If you just do some scooping and kind of leaning your body back into the strokes so that you're not having to use so much of your arms that you're kind of just using your body weight to pull into this area. When you're working in this area, one of the other things you want to be careful of is at the end of your ribs, you have a couple of floating ribs. So making sure that you're not pushing too firmly in through this area, but that you're just kind of lightening up as you go over those floating ribs. They can break, um, so making sure that you're being cautious there is really important. Another thing you can do is take both of your thumbs, starting on the sacrum, and just lining either side of the spine, pushing up along these erector spinae muscles. You can also do your full palm. crossing across the lower back also feels really good gives a nice hug to the hips again being cautious of those floating ribs 